How's it going everybody? World Money Wins here. I finally sold some silver. Actually, I think it might be the second time ever selling silver. First time was kind of stupid. When 20, 2014 I sold some because I moved across the country and when I was getting set up I wanted some more walking around cash, some just some money for spending. And I didn't want to take money out of my Roth IRA because a lot of people don't know you could take money out of your Roth IRA without any penalties or taxes as long as it doesn't exceed the amount that you contributed. So like if you put $10,000 into a Roth IRA and it grows for 10 years and like let's say it turns into $100,000, you can take, it doesn't matter what age you are, you can take that original $10,000 back out with no penalty because it's already been taxed before you put it in. So I didn't want to take money out of that. Instead, I was like, oh, I'll just sell like, you know, maybe a hundred ounces of silver or something like that. And so I took all my ugly silver, <laughs> which I called it ugly silver. That was the vintage stuff. Like all the old bars that were poured and stuff. I did a, um, I did a uh, story time video like a, over a year ago about that when I sold my vintage silver because it wasn't, wasn't shiny. I like the shiny ones. So that was kind of dumb. I, I used to like vintage silver, uh, like 2005, six, seven, eight. I thought it was kind of cool to pick it up, but then I was like, eh, it's not pretty. And at that time, nobody wanted it. It was the cheapest stuff you could get. You An old Inglehard bar, <laughs> you can get that at spot. Nobody cared about that stuff. Everybody wanted, you know, American Silver Eagles or Philharmonics or something like that. But Anyway, I'd mentioned it before on the channel that I wanted to sell some silver just as a lesson to, to the family, just to say, hey, here's how you sell silver. So I took a tube of buffaloes to uh, Liberty Coin Exchange, and they gave me uh, $28.15 each. So it was like 563 bucks. And they actually said, hey, I'm surprised to see you selling. I'm like, yeah, I'm just doing it as a lesson for the family because I had, I had my whole family there. There were six people there. Uh, total and so uh, I was like yeah we're gonna sell uh, a tube of buffaloes which I've never really been a big fan of buffaloes even though they are really cheap actually I, I'm a fan of these ones these reverse proof ones these things are gorgeous um, but I just sold regular plain old ones like these well actually these are gold yeah, they were just generic ones and uh, yeah, I told him, yeah, I'm just, I'm just selling it just to show the family, you know, one way of selling silver, the generic stuff to a bullion dealer, like collectible stuff. Like this stuff you wouldn't sell to a dealer. This two ounce gorgeous honker. This you'd sell to a private individual or somebody looking for it, or you could sell it online or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so I said, yeah, I'm just doing this as a lesson for the family to show them one way of selling generic silver that's got no premium or very little premium and then we're gonna just blow the money so we went we went out to uh lucky's steakhouse in lansing or okimos it's a suburb of lansing and that place is fantastic <clears throat> side rant most restaurants and restaurant owners and restaurant managers have zero idea how to run a restaurant at lucky's you get like free bread, and the bread is seasoned, this really cool seasoned bread. All you can eat the bread, of course, it's super cheap, but it looks like expensive bread from the store. And you get this huge salad with your dinner, and then a huge dinner. You, every single person at Lucky's, every single one, no matter how much you could eat, you're taking half your food home. And you know, the, the dinner's like 25 bucks. Not, it's not horrible as far as the price, but you're getting basically two meals out of it incredible place and but most restaurants they don't they don't understand that concept of if they're not full and taking half their food home you've failed as a restaurant because once that food gets home another another family member eats it they're like hey can i have this leftover chicken parmesan they try it and they're like wow this is amazing where'd you get it oh i got it at lucky steakhouse i want to go there so you just made more customers anyway side rant complete uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we sold it, got 563 bucks, and then my wife promptly held out her wallet and said, oh, you can put it right in here. 
<laughs> so I, was, I threw half of it in there and then since I was paying for the dinner, we used cash to pay for dinner and we tipped the uh, waiter really well, like 35% probably. <clears throat> and I, I like doing that, you know, waiters and waitresses, they, you know, they normally get tips 15%, 20%, but when they get something that's like over the top, they, it really affects their mental state. It makes them really happy and it doesn't bug me. I know that I'm making somebody else like super freaking happy with a huge tip um, as a, you know, for a server. And that get, makes me happy. So I feel awesome giving somebody a huge tip. The waiter or waitress feels awesome and goes, wow, that per I, look at the tip I got off this table. So everybody's happy. And so they say money can't buy happiness. And I, I guess that's kind of true, but it really can help make people happy. And so what was I doing? I was just rifling through this. Sold some silver. Oh, and I got, do have to apologize to my son. While we were there at Liberty Coin Service, it was like eight minutes before closing. Sold the silver, and I was like, all right, we got to go, because they're closing down the uh, the metal uh, gates that cover the windows on the inside, the security gates. I'm like, hey, let's go. And my son was looking at their uh, premium stuff, cause, and I didn't know, but he wanted to buy a Wolverine round. And I was like, oh, we got to get out of here. They're trying to close up. And so we, I hustled everybody out. Because we were basically the last people in there except for one one rando that was just gawking. And as we were walking out the door, like four people were, <laughs> were walking in. And I didn't know. And I was like, hey, you like those, those Wolverine kind of collectible coins? He's like, yeah, I wanted to buy that one in the case. I'm like, oh, man, you should have told me. I would have stuck around. So I feel bad about hustling him out the door um, when he wanted to buy something. So... I've got a bunch of these Lakota ones. So one of the challenges with silver is figuring out how to, which ones to sell for cheap, which ones not to. So maybe you guys can let me know. These are the AOCS Lakotas. These are, I think, uh, silver, I think silver bullet, silver shield maybe made these. So I don't know if these have much of a premium over buffaloes, but I know like if I want to go sell something for an experiment or just to blow, I'll just grab buffaloes. And a lot of times I've got these tubes, I'll go, I'll buy some random silver or get silver, like a random pick from a online bullion dealer because I need it a little bit more just to get over the, uh, the $200 threshold. So maybe I'm buying only something for 175 and I'll just tack on a, a random thing and then I'll get something like that or, or something like this. But these are like, you know, buybacks. They're not perfect condition, so I don't know. So there's these things here, which have been pretty popular in the stacking community. The Achilles thing here. I think this is, a, yeah, Legendary Warriors. And this one is Dead Men Tell No Tales. This is from a different series. And so I would probably lump these into like lower premium stuff. Certainly the uh, the Asahis, these are about the same as uh, the Buffaloes. Oh, actually these are the newer Year of the Dragon ones. These ones are actually really nice. I forgot I had these. But that's about it. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, Seven just did a video about the Australian government at collecting information on stackers. Like, if, like from if you buy from an online dealer, now they're requiring to give them all your information, ID, go to the police station, identify yourself. So Australia is looking like it's going down the path of, or more so, of tyranny. I noticed one thing. It's like if you see on the news or on YouTube a country and you see a police interaction with civilians. Well, police are civilians, but citizens and the police are wearing masks that's probably a tyrannical place <laughs> if the police are wearing masks you know you're in a place of tyranny i was just thinking about that maybe it's not true i don't know and uh silverstruck just did a video on one ounce poured silver bars um he just showed off some awesome stuff on his channel you might want to go check out silverstruck's channel and that's about it i got a skateboard coming on monday that's going to be freaking awesome. I'm super stoked about it. And uh, 
I might do one more silver sale at some point at a different coin shop with the family just to show options. And it, then we'll just take the money and blow it. I just saw something weird on this. Oh, never mind. Never mind. My eyes are deceiving me. But that's about it. Just figured I'd let you know I sold some silver and uh, we blew the money. Well, actually, we still have like $400 of it left. But dinner for everybody after the tip was 180 bucks. We didn't drink a lot of drinks. We had my wife had a cocktail. And I had a big ass beer, Blue Moon, and I can't drink beer anymore. The man, that stuff messes me up. I don't know why. Just one beer puts me out. Let me know if you like these Year of the Dragons from Asahi. If I can get these at close to spot, or at the same price as. Uh, Buffaloes, I'd rather get these. Check it out. Look at it. Look at it.